Hello everyone. Welcome to Manupatra's Law and Legal News podcast. Here we go with the news highlights for September 20th. The Supreme Court has directed Additional Solicitor General Ishwarya Bhatti to furnish status report of government and internet intermediaries to the court within a period of 6 months. in the matter regarding the issues pertaining to child sexual abuse child pornography rape and gang rape videos the supreme court has asked for status report from the union government regarding the appointment of ad hoc judges in high courts under article 224a of the indian constitution the court has directed the state legal service authorities to form a scheme for empanelment of paralegals in police station for dealing with boxo offences using the delhi state legal service authorities scheme as a model within 3 months the supreme court has upheld the validity of the haryana sikh gurudwara management act 2014 and dismissed the petitions challenging the constitutionality of the act the delhi court on monday stayed the trial court proceedings against aam aadmi party leader satyendra jain who is presently in judicial custody in a money laundering case after the ed moved an application seeking transfer of the case from a special court the delhi high court has held that in a case where the accused is last seen together with the deceased the prosecution is exempted to prove exact happening of the incident as the accused himself would have the special knowledge of the incident the burden of proof therefore would be on the accused as per section 106 of the evidence act The Bombay High Court has asked the BMC to explain the logic behind imposing fines for violation of mask mandate during COVID-19 pandemic. The court also added that if the government is mandated mask for the greater good, the court will not interfere. Moving on, the Gujarat High Court has held the police officers must not arrest accused unnecessarily and magistrate must not authorize detention casually and mechanically. where offences is punishable with imprisonment for a term which may be less than 7 years or which may be extended to 7 years whether with or without fine the karnataka high court has directed bbmp to repair 221 potholes on major roads as identified by the corporation within 10 days and also directed bbmp to remove 602 encroachments and submit a compliance report on clearance of storm water drains once in a fortnight The Madras High Court while dealing with estranged couple in a case pertaining to custody of a child has observed that marriage is not merely satisfying the carnal pleasure but mainly for the purpose of progeneration. That is all for today. Thank you so much and have a good day.